Hey guys, so you clicked on this video because you want to find out how many nails that you need to use per shingle. Let's get started. So before we get started in the video, if you're a loyal subscriber of ours, thanks so much guys, we really appreciate it. We've been blown away on how fast the channel has grown in just a short amount of time we've done it. But we really appreciate you guys coming back and watching more videos. And if you're new to our channel, I just want to tell you about myself just real quick. My name's Zach Blingasop, I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. I've done projects from Billy up the street all the way through the US government. So I promise you came to the right place to get good information. All right, so let's get into the video of how many nails do you need per shingle? Okay, so when we're talking about nails, there's a few different types of roofing nails, but if anybody, whether you be a homeowner or a contractor out there, most everybody knows that people aren't hand nailing roofs anymore. There are still people who do it, more power to them, but uh, on our projects and most projects you're gonna see, we use air guns. And most of the time we're gonna use a one and a quarter inch coil nail that's gonna be installed into your roofing system. Now, so this is what the roof, well, I'll show you a little bit of what the, some of the nails look like. I've got a bunch of different types in here in my, in my shop, but this is the kind that I have out today. And these are just two standard types of shingles. You have an architectural shingle here, here and then a three tab. Now, is it different to, or how many nails you need in your nail pattern on a three tab and architectural? And the answer is no, it's not. I just wanted to address that first, that you're still gonna use a minimum of the same type of nails in both of these shingles. And so the minimum number actually for every single shingle manufacturer in America is four nails per shingle. Now for most systems, you're gonna need four nails per shingle. And then also if it's a system that can go up to 130 miles per hour, particularly in some areas like you know Florida, Oklahoma, places that have a lot of tornadoes and, uh, and hurricanes, there's actually a six nail pattern that you can put in that is gonna make your shingles a little bit more secure to your roof. Now, some some roofing contractors, me included, um, if I'm in an area that I even think that it's a, an issue, we'll go ahead and do six nails per shingle. Um, a lot of guys do the you know minimum requirement with the uh, with the manufacturer, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just putting four nails per shingle, but you know, obviously, as a roofing contractor, it's a little bit more expensive to go ahead and do six nails per shingle, and it you know takes longer to do the roof because the guys have to shoot six nails. Um, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about proper installation in this video but if you're a homeowner out there what you want to do is you you're, you're going to listen to these guys uh install the roofs and it's going to sound like uh hopefully i'm going to have a clip real quick um to slide in here but you're basically going to hear pop 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 that's the nail gun shooting the shingles now where you can run into a problem is if you hear pop pop because that means they're only normally nailing two nails per shingle, which is way below the, well, it's half of what the manufacturers recommend on their shingles. Now that does happen. So if you're a homeowner out there and you see that they're only nailing two nails per shingle, you need to tell them to stop work and get whoever's in charge out there because that is incorrect. Almost every single shingle manufacturer is gonna require a minimum of four up to six. Now it was funny, I was actually uh, posted uh, one of uh, my previous videos in one of the groups on Facebook and somebody told me they, uh, they'd hired a crew that was putting 10 nails per shingle. Um, I don't know what advantage 10 nails would do, but it, it's not recommended. Typically, again, the highest you're gonna see is six nails. So you don't need to put in 10 to get a more secure roof. If, uh, for a lot of, again, the shingles that have a higher wind rating, six nails is gonna be the maximum amount that you're gonna use. Now, the re and the reason, you and you actually end up getting more than four nails per shingle, the way these are installed, is you're actually installing these shingle, you're actually, there's a nail line on all of these, on all of these shingles. In particular, you can see this on this architectural shingle here. This is your nail line, okay? 
So you want to make sure that the guys are hitting their nail on it, obviously if you're a contractor, but if you're a homeowner, um, you just you ask your contractor, you're making sure the guys are hitting the nail on because what you don't want is them to be low or high nailed, particularly high nailed because if they're high nailed, you're not gonna be able, the, the nail is, is supposed to go in here and then it, obviously the one that overlaps, it's also gonna cut against the strip right here. So you're actually gonna end up having a minimum of eight nails per shingle if installed correctly. But if they high nail, it's gonna miss this part up here and you're actually only gonna end up getting four nails per shingle. Now, it, your roof may last 15, 20 years up there, but that is not how it's designed uh, or it's how it's supposed to be installed and it could cause a lot of problems down the road. So. I hope I wasn't too long with that answer, but it is four to six nails per shingle. Now guys, if you have any questions on that whatsoever, particularly if you're a homeowner, uh, feel free to drop us a comment below and I'll answer any questions you have on the proper nailing of the shingles. Okay, so that's it. I hope I wasn't again too long-winded on this. I just, I think it's very important to understand why you need to make sure you're at least getting four nails per shingle. And if there's ever a question, Every single one of the packages that these shingles come in have an installation guide and they all have reps that you can call. Guys, this is a, in the big scheme of things, unless you're installing uh, stainless steel nails, this is a fairly inexpensive part of your material on a project. Make sure that you guys are installing uh, the shingles the way they're supposed to be and have the right nail pattern. Because it's a big deal. And if you're a homeowner out there, if your roof is installed incorrectly, and there's a storm that happens and it causes damage, the insurance company may not pay for a new roof if it was installed incorrectly. So I'm not, tell, I'm not advocating you be a homeowner that goes out there and uh, cracks open a beer and watches every step your contractors do, but there are questions like this on the nail patterns and stuff like that you can ask just to make sure that he knows what he's doing. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Again, for subscribers out there, Thanks again for coming back and watching. If you'd like to see more information from us and you are not subscribed, please hit that button below. Also check out our website at digitalroofingcompany.com. We have tons of free information out there. All of our content's free. So I hope you guys uh, go check that out. And always at Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values. Have a great day.